again, John Wild here to repair another vintage action figure. And this time we're going to be repairing a 1977 Bionic Bigfoot from the $6 million man toy line. The Bionic Bigfoot is a super rare and super cool toy from the $6 million man toy line. But unfortunately, like a lot of uh, vintage toys, he's seen better days. His arms though have broken and are missing right now. The rest of the figure is in, is in really good shape. Um, his, uh, his legs are joined on and they're, they're, everything is all there. So really the only thing that we need to do um, is to reattach his arms and to figure out something for this chest plate. Luckily this figure came with both of his arms and we can see that the arm rubber has just snapped over time and that's all it was that was holding these arms through the torso of the body was a rubber band. Uh, I'd imagine that when this was originally built by Kenner, the, uh, the arms would have been together and then, then they would have glued the body around these arms. We don't have that luxury because the, the body is whole. Other YouTubers, uh, specifically Toy Ploy, have shown a method to reattach these arms and the way they did it was he used an O-ring and he used a couple of uh, cable ties and the, he put the cable ties through the loop and then he would uh, tighten the cable ties down around that O-ring which would hold these together and would uh, repair the arms. I'm going to use a little bit different of a method and I'll show you what I'm going to use. My method just involves nylon string. That's all it is. It's a one millimeter nylon string. You buy it at any craft store or uh, super center, you name it, they have it. Um, and really all I do is I'm just going to use this as the new rubber band around the arms. Let me show you how I do it. The first thing I need to show is um, we're just going to remove, carefully remove this uh, this rubber band. What's the remainders of what this rubber band had on here? It's going to just break out of there. Once we remove the plastic, we can see how the the uh, rubber band attached to the arm, and it leaves us with this little plastic loop here that's attached pretty solidly into the arm. Once we uh, clean off both sides of the arm from this rubber band. We're, we have uh, kind of prepared to restring the arms onto the figure. Taking a look at the torso here on Bigfoot, we can see there's a really big, large opening that we're going to be threading through. And that's going to be really helpful to be able to restring the arms onto this figure. Also be aware that the attachment for the string to the arm can get pushed up inside of the arm and you'll have a little bit of a panic moment if that happens. Don't worry, you can get it. You just have to kind of shake the arm around until you see that end. And just use a small screwdriver and pull it back out again. Um, if it does fall into the arm, it's not really that big of a deal. But if you can prevent it from happening, it's definitely going to make your project go a lot smoother. I'll show you how to string without the figure body getting in the way first. So. Just gonna uh, run my uh, elastic string here through here and then do the same on this arm here and then basically I'm just gonna bring it back around again and thread it back through and back through this one this side so now I got two loops and in the end I'm gonna make three loops so this will be the third and final time I'm gonna go through so I take it through, bring it around, bring it around and back like so and then there'll be I mean that'll be the ends here I'll tie with a knot and that will recreate that rubber band that was holding them together. So let's show this on the figure now. So start by passing it through on the one arm like so. Now pass the string through the body cavity of the figure just like this. It's a real wide open so it gives you an easy access. And now bringing it through onto the other arm. Now we're going to pass this again through the body. Take a little bit of the slack out and now we're going to loop it again 
onto this arm. So you'll bring it up back through this loop here. And back through the body again. So after looping through, the one side here should look like this. So you should have um, three different times that you pass through on this side. And on the other side, you should have enough your pass-throughs, three pass-throughs, and you should have both freestanding ends on this side of the figure. For this, for this thing, it's going to be on the left-hand side. It could be on the right-hand side, it doesn't really matter, but this is where you're going to make your knot to tighten up the arms. Now we're going to just pull all the slack out of the elastic just by pulling the ends away from each other. Should get tighter as you pull. Don't go too tight, but don't go too loose. Now you should have two ends out of the side of the arm like so, and the slack should have been pulled out of the arms so that they're fitting into the sockets good. Pull a little bit more slack out, and it, they should almost hold themselves by this point in time. Now, what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna take the two ends, make sure we got them tight. We're gonna do a, a simple knot. So basically, we're gonna take this and we're gonna wrap it two or three times around itself. We're gonna pull that down tight and it's gonna slip down inside of the body a little bit. We're gonna to wanna to get that down inside of that arm cavity because that's where it's gonna to wanna to be when you're done. And now we're going to tie another knot Basically, this is uh, the old granny knot or whatever, but I, I, I'll make a couple loops on it just to give it a little bit more strength and then bring it down and finish the knot off. And now, you let that go and now the arms are reattached. All we're going to do next is get a pair of scissors and trim this end off. I'll show you how to do that. Now we'll finish this off. All we just need is a pair of scissors. We're just gonna pull that knot back up a little bit out of there. And all we really need to do is just give the elastic string here a cut. It'll snap inside of the figure and now the arms are back attached onto our Bigfoot figure. And they're really secure. I like using the elastic string method versus uh, an O-ring and a couple of cable ties. Because I just think in the end, it's only one piece of material that you're using. So you, you just need some elastic string uh, versus finding the right size O-ring here that's going to fit inside his chest and the cable ties. I also think maybe in the future, if you ever had to uh, repair the repair, that that may be a little bit harder to undo versus what I've done here. So now let's look at a uh, chest piece here. On my previous Bigfoot video, I showed off the action gimmick here with the chest plate. This is a pop-off chest plate. A lot of the times when we find Bigfoot figures out for sale, the chest plate is missing. And it, 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 it definitely um, it takes away a little bit of the figure displaying them like this uh, always, you know. So there is a seller on eBay that sells replacement chest plates. Let's take a look at that. Here it is. It is uh, pretty close in shade to the original figure. Not bad. I'd say pretty spot on. The color is very good. Taking a look at it in general, it looks like it's cast from an original Bigfoot chest plate. It has some tabs on the side that are going to help hold it in. Um, I had to file this one a little bit, um, the one that I got. Um, it didn't quite fit perfectly inside of the chest cavity so I just did a little modification there um, but the other tab is there look on the inside we can see the the casting process to it um, it's a little bit it's definitely not as clean as a, a vintage chest plate but that also um, makes it easier for us to identify the fact that this is a reproduction so this is going to be the part that's going to activate the action gimmick so, we take Bigfoot here and put in his replacement chest plate, like so. 
and it fits nicely. Yeah, it, it fits pretty nicely in there. Um, it's it's uh, definitely the way it should be. Um, that's that's part of the action gimmick that's just trying to push that thing out. Uh, maybe that peg is a little bit too long. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but it, it works just the way it's supposed to. So you would uh, tap on the figure there, and the piece would fall out. That that's what the gimmick was. So we, here we have it back again, and it, it does it fits very nicely in there. And, and I think these uh, retail for around uh, they're under twenty dollars. Um, definitely way cheaper than uh, trying to find an original piece to put into your Bionic Bigfoot. So I, I have to endorse it. Um, you can definitely, uh, you can get yourself a Bigfoot figure even if the arms are off like this one. Um, not, a, not a hard repair to put the arms back on again. Uh, $15 chest plate and now you have a complete uh, Bionic Bigfoot figure with some replacement parts and repairs. So here he is and all his uh, newfound glory, his arms are back up and running and working again. They pose very well, um, definitely as good as they did originally. Now you can use this method of repair of arms on numerous Kenner action figures. Um, this would work with Wampas and it would also work with a Rancor monster or the Chewbacca large figure from uh, the original series line. It would work the same way and it, it works great. Um, just every time. It's, it's, it's a real easy fix. I endorse it very much. The chest plate, the replacement chest plate, we can see it's, it's, uh, it's a really good match and for its value, um, it's awesome, it's great. So if you have a Bionic Bigfoot figure that's missing his uh, chest plate, I'd suggest you know, going and picking it up, um, you can't go wrong. Uh, I understand it's a reproduction and everybody wants original parts, but you know, there's a lot of these figures out there and there's only so many that still have their original chest plates. So I have to endorse having a complete figure, even if it is, has some parts on it that aren't original to the line. So this has been John Wild. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, uh, repairing toys is fun. So how we're going to do this is we're going to just take our string here and we're going to thread it through. And we're going to do this just without the body. See, see what I did? See what I did?